six different regions, some allies and some rivals. These regions will soon come together to decide whether or not to create one nation. Cosmo, a region well known for its natural resources and arable land. The capital city of Cosmo is Yanamos, the largest city in the land. Kano Hills, another region familiar with natural resources like timber, fresh water and oil. The capital city of Kano Hills is Hakuna. The largest city is Paradise Falls. Niviestara is a region that has mountain range, valleys and grasslands. The capital and largest city of Niviestara is Adiserb. Niviestara is known for exporting wool, goat and yak, fish, fresh water and timber. The Mount Stanley region, minerals and weapons manufacturing help this region become more powerful. Salisbury is the capital city of the mountainous Salisbury region. Their healthcare system is renowned and their fresh water and farming resources are plentiful. Greendale, best known for its port which is a hub for trading. Fresh water and grasslands abound. The capital city of Greendale is Dronia. The largest city is Osman. Since records began, six regional nations have existed in this part of the world. These nations each relied on their own individual citizens and resources, with little interaction between nations. Shortages of resources and cooperation led to inequality and sometimes unrest. The Great Regional War began when the Mount Stanley region made a deal with Canada Hills for oil in exchange for minerals. The Mount Stanley region took the oil but gave the minerals instead to Nevis Terra. Invading to gain access to m mineral sites, Mount Stanley allied with Nevis Terra for defence. Canna Hills approached a great nation of Tijeristan for support. They agreed but demanded colonisation of each of the six nations in return for brokening an armistice. The nations then became regional colonies under the ultimate rule of Head of State of Tijeristan. To celebrate the ongoing peace between the regional colonies, representatives from each region compete in the regional games annually. The games promote respect for persons of any kind, male, female, able-bodied or disabled, of any religion or background. The games symbolise the growing bonds between the regional colonies. Representatives from the six regional colonies were recently invited to Canberra, the capital city of neighbouring Australia. The delegates from each region visited a number of significant sites while in Canberra. Questacon, a place of science, creativity and imagination. Representatives visited this place to learn the advanced ways of Australia's technology and the way it works and could benefit their own governments. The Australian Institute of Sport, or AIS, is a place where Australia's famous talented athletes train for Olympic glory, and where delegates learned about not only how the sports are played by talented athletes, but about the importance of sport in the nation's identity. Parliament House is where the nation's laws are made. There are two parliamentary rooms, called the House of Representatives and the Senate. The National Gallery is a place where creativity is celebrated and national treasures are kept. These artworks are important as they express some part of the nation's identity. The Electoral Education Centre is a place where the process of determining the composition of the parliament, in other words, voting in elections, is celebrated and examined. The Australian War Memorial is a place of remembrance for the Australian soldiers who contributed to saving many nations and to remember those who lost their lives through war. The War and Defence Minister for the mountainous Salisbury region, the Honourable Janet McDissey MP, was interviewed about what she learned and how it affected her region. What did you learn about in the Australian War Memorial that is significant to your region? Well, it was very inspiring. We learnt about different battles and their ongoing influence on nations. 
and also about the lives of multiple soldiers and how they contributed to the nation's identity. What did you see there that will most influence the government of your region? How war is commemorated respectfully and how that affects the way we live today. <coughs> Thank you very much, Minister Magdisi. In addition to the regional summit in Canberra, some important events have contributed to the Federation movement that will soon be voted on in each region. Notable among these are the Mount Stanley Region's treason trial and the blockade of the Middle Territories. Treason is a crime of betraying one's own country by attempting to overthrow its leadership. Trial is a formal way of examining a person with a judge and jury to decide on the guilt or innocence of the accused based on the evidence presented in court. The Mount Stanley region was recently erupted by startling allegations against the President, the Honourable Galea Germanos MP. Former Defence Minister Syed Ayub accused the President of murder following Ayub's second dismissal from Cabinet for insubordination. The Attorney General of the Mount Stanley region the Honourable Sam Tari MP successfully persuaded the jury that the accused was guilty, but in a sensational development, the former MP announced his militia was seizing the Middle Territories, imposed a blockade, and instituted attacks on all goods and people passing through. In a remarkable and unpredicted turn of events, President Galia Germanas granted amnesty and pardoned Mr Ayub in return for the Middle Territories coming under the control of the Mount Stanley region. Following this period of unrest and instability, President Germanos initiated diplomatic negotiations with other regional leaders that led to the question of federation coming to a popular vote in a referendum. A referendum is an election in which citizens vote to change the constitution. Examples in Australia's history include referenda on whether the colonies should come together to form a nation, whether women and Aboriginal people should be able to vote, and whether Aboriginal people should be considered as people rather than flora and fauna. The 44 referenda have been held in Australia since, no, since Federation in 1901. Yet only eight have been successful. The six regional colonies recently had a referendum to decide whether to form an alliance and become the Federated States of Federalia. President Galia Germanos of the Mount Stanley region began this journey towards this referendum like Sir Henry Parks in Australia. It was her vision of federalism and her skills of diplomacy that persuaded the other regional leaders of the benefits of the fed of federating. The result of the fed of the referendum was a convincing yes vote. They will be the the regional colonies will federate to become a nation. There will be no more regional colonies. They will become the world's newest sovereign nation, the Federated States of Federalia. The lessons that ministers learn in Canberra can now be applied to the creation, the parliament and the institutions of the new nation, the Federated States of Federalia. <laughs>